Okay. So, welcome to all. Myself, Dr. Ankur Gupta, and with me is Dr. Benjamin. So, today we are going to show you the actual notes in the ICU, how we write those notes. Dr. Benjamin has just resumed his evening shift he, and he has put the notes in the files. To viewers who are watching this video for the first time, we had previously made a, a video on how to write notes in the ICU, both the animated version and the detailed description version. So many members have requested that if it if it is possible, you can show the actual notes which you write in your, in your unit so that we can replicate or get an idea on how we should implement in our unit. So today we are going to show you two files on how we write the notes in our unit. Those who want to see the previous videos on how to write notes in the ICU, the links are given in the description, both the, for the animated version and for the detailed discussion version. So now we'll move to those two files and see step by step how we, have, uh, how we write notes in our unit. So this is the first file. You can see here, the first point is uh, identification, 63 year male and occupation, this is business pay. Now second point is previous comorbid conditions, so rheumatic heart disease, old CBA, diabetic, hypothyroidism, post DVR status and post COVID status, August 2, 2020. Third point, history of any allergies, so here mentioned there is no drug allergy. Now on medications, previous medication which the patient was having. The medication mentioned here, thyronom and all the previous medication which the patient was having. After that, there was any addiction history or drug history, history of ethanol addiction is present. Now, after this brief, what was the presenting complaint of this patient? So, presenting complaints were chest pain, gabrat, uneasiness. So, with this background, you have an idea, you can, why this is helpful? With this background, with this presenting complaint, you get an idea of diff making differential what could be the possible causes. So the possible causes in here could be acute coronary syndrome, aortic wall thrombosis, AF with RVV was present there and these were the post uh, uh, previous conditions. Now why we have kept this patient in the ICU? Any patient who can who presented with ghabrat in easiness, if it is mild, we can keep in the ward. But why this patient is in the ICU? It's for cardiac monitoring and to rule out the stuck wall and the patient was having dyspnea. The patient was also on uh, NTG infusion and tropi was slightly raised. So we, we have kept in ICU for both, for monitoring purpose and for the diagnostic purpose. Now in the last 24 hours, what were the significant events? We have done the T transesophageal echocardiography in which there was a partial aortic stuck fault and the patient was put on heparin infusion and uh, because APTT was raised, heparin is stopped. So in last 24 hours, we got the diagnosis that the patient is having partial stuck wall. Now, currently, what? Now, currently, the patient's condition is vitals are stable. Patient is on NTG support. SPO2 is maintained. Plus, on examination, the system which is primarily involved. Patient was having chest pain, dyspnea, so CBS and respiratory will come uh, first. So there was both the sounds are present equally. So although there is a stuck wall, it is uh, 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 it is not hampering the flow of the uh, blood flow, and we can uh, manage the patient conservatively. Chest pain has decreased, and air entry present. After that. The other two systems, who, other systems which are uh, there, which are of not of our concern on admission. Urine output was adequate uh, because uh, intake output was fairly okay. That was never of concern in this patient, so we have not mentioned the actual data. Investigation, significant investigation was APTT, which was raised 2277, so we have stopped the heparin. Now, what is the plan? So, all always watch for vitals and heart rate. Tropi, uh, sorry, we will taper off the NTG and stop if the systolic blood pressure is under. So we are uh, tapering of NTG. From heparin, we have shifted to low molecular weight heparin. And now we have started them. We have given cover of acetrom. Yesterday we have given one mg and now we have giving two mg and monitoring of the sugar. So 
this is the basic plan for our patient of as of today's now we'll move to second case so this is our second case always mention date and time this is very important these days for the ci and mbh and other accreditations now identification first point 75 year male retired from his job although what was the job here needs to be mentioned which was missed known case of hypertension diabetes post cbg status lv is 20% nephropathy is there and post tkr status which was very recent the patient is not having any addiction all medications only antiplatelets and diuretics obviously from the history we have found no drug allergy what was the presenting complaint of this patient loss of consciousness generalized weakness and vomitings so on diagnosis what we found that patient is was having hyponatremia cause of hyponatremia is not certain we need to review the drug chart and other uh, parameters nephropathy is there and post cbg and these are the post tkr status so why the patient is in icu this is the point very important for the correction of sodium level and hypotension patient was hypertensive so patient was on adrenaline infusion so for these two uh, parameters we have kept the patient in the icu in last 24 hours there any significant event consciousness sensorium has improved now one thing which i think is missed in this record is what was the level of sodium which needs to be mentioned which dr benjamin will take care now currently what has happened patient uh, is hemodynamically stable 84 is the heart rate vitals 90 by 60 and we are tapering the adrenaline the saturation is fine now because because the patient is on uh, uh, now adrenaline infusion we have mentioned cvs uh, in the first list otherwise cns would have come first because the primary complaint was altered behavior now cvs is fine cns conscious oriented and better than yesterday the patient is better than yesterday other systems are written here and urine output adequate now investigation 121 sodium is there and i think dr benjamin has covered here yesterday it was 112 so the rise is 9 which is fair enough in 24 hours potassium yesterday was 6.6 and today's is 5.6 that's good now what will be the today's plan we'll continue with 3% saline we'll try to taper off the adrenaline we'll watch for the vitals and coming morning we'll again do electrolytes and we'll see how uh, the levels are there and then we'll decide whether this patient needs to be kept in icu or not so so now you have seen two different notes one was the follow up note and one was sort of admission notes in which we don't have the diagnosis on the admission we were in the working process then we found out that it was a aortic uh, stuck wall not the acs and the second was the follow up note in which we were treating the encephalopathy which was metabolic due to hyponatremia and we we'll, we compared what were the sodium levels yesterday and what are the now and what are the plans for coming In next 24 hours so this is a short way to demonstrate you how we write notes in our unit you can implement in your unit also if you have some suggestions please do write in our comment section or you can mail us or you can join us on the website links are all given in the description thank you for today